morning. God morning to you. God is saying, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. And he's talking to you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God. That's Isaiah 43. You don't walk alone. You're walking with Jesus. You don't talk to yourself. You're talking to Jesus. What are you saying to him right now? And notice how turning to listening to the thoughts that are forming. They don't form which means you have a choice in this moment, in this awareness to say I love you or thank you or to say nothing. He knows your heart. Try saying nothing. Inside, try thinking nothing. And now stop trying. They say you will be free once you realize the cage is made of thoughts. When you're trying to stop the thoughts, it's like you are the cage trying to escape itself. But there's a silence that's present even when thoughts are happening. That silence is you. Robert Cardinal Sarah says Mary is so silent that the evangelists say little about the mother of God. She's entirely absorbed by contemplation, adoration, and prayer. She hides herself in her son. She exists only in her son. She disappears in her son. The attitude of Mary is that of listening. She is completely turned to the word of the son. Mary does not speak. She simply wants to submit to God like a trusting child. Her fiat is total and joyful. She intends to receive God's will through Jesus. Lao says once you have found the mother, you can know her child. And having known the child, hold tightly to the mother and your whole life will be preserved from peril. Close that body's eyes and re-enter the womb. Re-enter that stillness, that silence, that purity of no world, no thought. Just love. Sounds. Perceived that aren't labeled. That aren't named. And here, not even you are named. This is your refuge, a place you can come to hide and pray. Even when you're in a crowd, you can find safety here. You can find the mother here. You can find her son here. This is where your father lives. This is the source of everything you think you want from out there. You think it's going to come to you from out there. It comes from within here. Give this your attention. Often, he's saying, I'm doing something special with you. That's why you feel the way you're feeling. And my timing is sooner than you think. And it's okay for you to feel both afraid and excited. You've gone from consistently being unaware of me to constantly living in my presence, living in me, knowing that it is me that surrounds you, not the world. Those aren't just co-workers, family members, strangers on the street, in the store. They're me. They're all me. I'm the only being. And all I'm asking you to do is recognize me. To see everyone as a walking, talking tabernacle. Housing me. Carrying me. Not knowing that they are. But it's your job to know. It's your job to carry my light. And to recognize my light. There. Recognizing my light there stokes it there. It feeds it there. As often as you can today for just moments, seeming seconds, I want you to close your eyes and let yourself be carried away on the flowing current of my grace. I want you to close your eyes and not think of the present, turning your thoughts away from the future just as you would from temptation. Repose in me. Believing in my goodness and I promise you by my love that if you say you take care of it, I will take care of it. I will console you, liberate you, and guide you. And now we pray ten times 
O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. And now we pray to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mother, I am yours now and forever. Through you and with you, I want to belong completely to Jesus. Amen. Last Thursday at Mass at church, the priest spoke about surrendering, letting go, and letting God. He said spiritually we might be feeling exhausted and perhaps we feel as though our efforts are fruitless. He said maybe you're struggling with a loved one. Perhaps you are feeling some desolation in your faith life. Maybe you're struggling to make ends meet. But he said wherever you are, Jesus will meet you there. You are not alone and God will help you fill your nets. When you lay down everything, recognizing everything is from God, you can find great abundance. That's Father Martinez after Mass. I found him and talked to him a bit. I wanted to know how he defines surrender, like what that process looks like to him. And I told him we were in the midst of our surrender novena. And he smiled, like chuckled to himself, like he had been waiting on that question. And he said, think of Jesus on the cross in those final moments. And the words he spoke, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And he said that to me twice, while still doing things, putting things away. And he said, that's what I think of when I think about surrendering, like that he gave us the example. He showed us the way into your hands. I commit my spirit that used to terrify me, just like the emails that I get from you. It seems to terrify you too. You're afraid that his will for you is not what you want, but the deeper you go, the more you see it's all his will. It's always been his will. Every seeming moment of every seeming day. And now we are blessed enough to be conscious of it, to be aware of it, to trust it, to not live in fear any longer, to live in the light, to live with inner silence, which is the definition of peace. You know how when you walk into a cathedral or a basilica and it's it's so quiet that quiet echoes, the silence echoes. That's how it is here right now. It's as quiet as his tomb, as empty as his tomb. Match my empty, match my silence. Feel his love there. The air you think you're breathing is love. Love that inhale, love that exhale. He loves you. You can trust him. Tell him you're scared. Tell him to help you. Simon Peter called out, save me. Call that out. Save me. I need you. This is hard. And then linger in the silence. Listen for him in the silence. Tell him you're listening for him in the silence. I feel for him in the silence and I find him every time. I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, then leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift. And follow me on Patreon so I can see you, so I can see your smile.